Okay, so I'm going to have a quick chat with you about what you need to make TDD in a UI app successful. So TDD, test driven development, is a discipline that you can use in order to make sure that as you write code, you have testing to go with it and that your software is always going to be in it. Your app is always going to be in a shippable state. Now, test driven development is a discipline. And like all disciplines, disciplines require you to put effort in a certain way, in a certain process into something in order to practice the discipline. Otherwise it wouldn't be called a discipline. And so what we find is that test-driven development will often break down when this certain situation arises. And that situation is where doing the discipline is harder than not doing the discipline. I know this sounds a little bit strange if you've never actually practiced TDD or if you have been practicing TDD you've never actually thought about it, but unless you make a discipline more fun and more easy to do than not doing it, we are always going to default to not doing it because fundamentally the human brain is not designed to deal with complexity and to deal with difficult tasks on an ongoing basis over extended periods of time, right? We will just default back to our normal behavior. So if you want to make TDD successful and you want to do TDD well, what you have to do is you have to make it easy to do and you make it easy to do by making something called a testable UI architecture. What a testable UI architecture does is it says we're going to abstract away all of the components and all of the stuff that we normally uh, test and we're going to begin to pull a lot of the information. We're going to take a lot of the data models and the presentation models and the business processes away from the components, away from the markup, away from the framework. We're going to put it in isolation and we're just going to test that in isolation. So as we go through and we build our app and we write our tech unit tests and we do things, what we're going to do is we're going to turn our unit tests into sort of specification tests that just test all of the presentation, all the business logic in isolation. And by doing that, this is the important bit, we remove resistance from the practice and the discipline of writing tests and practicing TDD. And that is how you make TDD simple and you make it easy and you make it fun and fast. And what that's going to enable you to do is practice this discipline over the long term and make it easy and ultimately make it successful and make you a better engineer as you're building your UI apps. And the testable UI architecture, by the way, works with any type of UI framework. It can work with React, Angular or Vue. And if you would like to know more about creating a test testable UI architecture. I'm running a free web training class this week. In it, we're going to go over three things. Firstly, we're going to go over the eight principles that you can begin using today uh, to enable you to write more scalable, testable code, including creating testable UI architecture. In the second one, what we're going to do is we're going to be going over um, something called the holistic developer process, UI developer process, where you can learn to create testable architecture as you code minute by minute, hour by hour, and day by day. And in the third part, I'm going to be teaching you how to make the transition from being a regular UI engineer to being a UI architect engineer that automatically knows how to build testable UI architecture in any framework. If you'd like to join me on this web training class, what you do is you click the link on or around this video, you're going to get taken through to another web page, you sign up and I'll see you on the other side.